Welcome to the Nerd Tutorial Podcast, a podcast offering discussions and tutorials about nerdy subjects for people who aren't necessarily nerdy themselves. With you today is myself, your nerdy tutor, and with my mom, future Warcraft Raider, eventually. I don't know my name yet. That's okay, we get to make one for you. So, we're going to do something a little bit different here today. We're actually going to play World of Warcraft. We're actually not streaming, but we are recording the game footage here today. So you're going to go through all the process, we're going to go through all the process of making a character, and then we get to just kind of play a little bit, and we'll teach my mom some of the games, the mechanics, and things we can do. Um, so, mom, how excited are you? I'm very excited. Excellent. So, um, so we're going to be playing World of Warcraft, and my mom is on a trial account, which you can get for free from World of Warcraft. You sign up, and it lets you try the first 20 levels of the game with no charge at all. And then if you subscribe, even at just 15 bucks a month in theory, or you can pay for longer stretches of time, you get access to more portions of the game here. In this case here, the trial account will be perfectly fine. I doubt we'll ever reach for level 20 here tonight, if ever, which is <laughs> quite all right. You you lack faith in me. I know. Uh, um, okay, well, I mean, there's a lot to level and play. So. Um, so to start off with, we've already logged on to the game. We've logged on to a server here. So, Mom. You have, um, you're going to see on your screen here, you're going to have a couple of options here on the left. So you have a red side and a blue side. Alliance and Horde. And I definitely want to be Alliance. I like the Alliance too. Again, these are some of the more prettier races. So, um, so Well, not based on that. I, I just... You um, like the blue. Don't like evil. Well, the other what, are, what is a Pandaren? So a Pandarian is a Pandarian. panda person. So if you use the mouse, you're going to see a little uh, hand that comes that's moving around on there. So okay. you can go ahead and click on these if you'd like, because they all come up with well, different Okay, stuff. so so it, it, it's, a, it's a panda. <laughs> it's a panda person, absolutely. Okay. So so what so what plane are we in here? Um, so Pandarians are a kind of unique one. These are the guys that can be both Alliance and Horde. But once you get through the initial starting area, you have to kind of decide whether you're Alliance Panda or a Horde Panda. Um, but we're all kind of on the same world of Azeroth, and everybody has kind of their own unique little starting zones. Um, you have the Worgen there as well, which you're mousing over right now. Feel free to click through that. Oh my gosh! So these guys turn into these. Ha these guys have both a uh, human form and a and what they call a were a were form, what they call Worgen. Oh, I see the human form in the background here. Okay. Yeah. So. Got it. And so they kind of differ a little bit. And then um, if you want to keep kind of uh, looking on the blue side here, you have the Draenei. These are your uh, good alien guys. Um, you can so if you click on the character with your right with the right trigger, you can pull it around so you can kind of see around it here if you want. So. Oh, okay. So I can or the left left mouse left left trigger. Ah, so she's got a tail. See, she has a tail. She also has hooves as well. I, I noticed that right off. Mm -hmm. It's kind of kind of minotaur, but not minotaur. Not quite. We, there are there the Torin are the minotaur people. Okay. Um, so the next one you have there is you have the option of a gnome. These are very cute. They're very silly. A very high pitched voice. They have various shades of colored hair. They're very cute and fun to play. Okay. Um, the next one you well, have. Well, okay. What's what's the, what's this thing in the background here? So this particular class is a known as a warlock, and so they have little demon pets they have with them. Uh, but you can have the okay. choice of a number. So if you look on the right hand side, you have a number of other choices for Cost classes. Or, so if you look to the right hand side of the screen, you okay. see the different classes. So you'll see oh, like okay. warriors. I get, I get it. So, so if I want a particular class, I pick. I pick. Okay, got yeah. it. Okay. So, um, if you want to keep looking around, we also have the night elves here. These are your very pretty elven sort of race people. Yeah. Um, typical, very much typical, kind of like a dark elf sort of thing. Um, directly above that, you have your very stereotypical dwarves, very stout, um, and then the humans are... Okay, get, so the dwarf has a bear. So, in this case, the dwarf has a bear because it's a hunter, because they have a extra pet that they get. Okay, so if, if I were... Oh, oh, I see. Oh, okay. So as, I, as I'm as i clicking through here on my, my classes... Well, they'll, be, they'll be able to see it as well, because we're recording okay. and, and we're recording so, on the video. We'll put this up on, on, on our website, too. I'm getting various options here, um, ad additional things that I can I can be. Yeah, so again, uh, dwarves are one of the classes that have a lot of different options to them. I think they have the most after, um, I think, um, well, not humans, because they have... Um, so dwarves are kind of like the most options of things they can be. And then you have humans. They have a multitude and, of different classes. And again, they can be. again, it, it, she has she has a wolf there. Yep, she did. And, yep, she has a wolf there instead of a bear. So they have the options of being mages, priests, hunters, rogues, uh, warriors, whoa, things whoa, like whoa, that. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, that's the wolf. Okay, so yep. if 
What, what can I be here? So the Pandarians have the options for uh, warriors, hunters, um, priest, mages, and monks. Uh, oh, and shamans as well. Okay, so, so what's the difference between a, a shaman and a priest um, and a mage? So a mage is like just, oh, look, I'm going to throw fireballs at I'm you. I'm magical. Yeah, you're, purely, you're really magical and you throw fireballs around all the time. Um, a priest uh, uses holy magic, so they have like kind of some holy spells that act kind of like fireballs. Uh, but they heal; they can heal other people as well. Um, and then shamans are um, natural elemental sort of people. They use the natural elements of like fire, wind, water, lightning to do uh, to attack their enemies. But they use water to heal them as well. I, I think I'd like to be a Pandarian shaman. Okay. Is that is that a an okay choice? That's a good choice. That's a, that's an excellent choice here. How 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 complex is that? Um, not very at the beginning. Um, they can they can be rather simple. Um, the classes I would recommend to start with here might be a paladin, um, or um, a hunter. Um, well, I don't have I don't have I don't see paladin as a choice. Not I? as a pandarian. Not all classes can be the same. So only the, the only ones that can be paladins are going to be the uh, Draenei, the dwarves, and the humans. But if you want to do a Pandarian um, hunter, those are those are fairly easy as well. Well, I'm 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 torn. I like the little dwarf. You can be again. Dwarves can be hunters as well. So you have the dwarf uh, there, and then you not have not a bear person. Uh, I've had bears steal food, but okay. you can get other pets as well. Okay, so and, and night elves. Night elves are very very again. All the classes, all the races there are kind of more or less a cosmetic option. Some of them have some special additional abilities, like she can't, um, like the night elves here can hide in the shadows, so they have ability which <clears throat> lets them uh, blend in with their surroundings for a little bit, so nobody can see you. Um, but if you don't like the pet, you can always get new pets as a hunter. Pet, uh, hunters can get loads of different pets, from wolves to bears to tigers to. Uh, I mean, that shouldn't birds. be what makes my choice, but. Sometimes it is. Again, sometimes the character flavor is just whatever it is that you find the most interesting. I mean, the classes I chose were basically mostly because I'm gonna, I like... I'm going to Pandarian here. Sounds the like classes you chose basically were... Um, again, I recommend a hunter or a paladin to start with. But but how did you make your choices? Whatever stopped me the first. Whatever looked the coolest to begin with. I like the idea of being a holy warrior initially. It was like kind of charging through the field, like this utmost side of like righteous sort of indignation about themselves um and then when i chose my second class which uh the one i actually still play to this day which is a warlock i wanted like the complete opposite of that so from holy warrior i went to like evil kind of dark sort of manipulative sort well, of it'd be fun every once in a while to go darth vader and go over to the dark side but i i, I more comfortable at least starting with with it yeah. okay so I so it, now it says I can customize. Yes, so you can go ahead and customize your character, and you have a couple different options that you have here. So N name uh, my character. So you'll get to name your character. You can't. Um, there are some options that are already taken because the game is a very popular game, um, and so you have options. I want to be Manda the Panda. We can we can see if that's available. So one of the first options you'll see on your left hand side are some of these different kind of options that you have, and then on the right hand side you'll see what they kind of look like. So it's the face, if you go to the right, you get the choice of kind of selecting. Oh, so, I, so she can have blue eyes. She can have blue eyes or different kind of markings on her face, or different ways her face is. So if you click it, you'll see kind of a preview of it. Oh. So you get kind of a preview of a couple different faces here. Um, you could even, if you want to, you can even change the entire skin color. So she doesn't have to be a black and white panda. She can be a brown panda if you wanted to. Ah, well, there are all sorts of little... She has a beauty mark. Yep. Um, let me see. I like this one. Okay. So then, so then I can go... So if you want to go to skin color, you can also change the skin color. So you, you can... Um, kind of change between different shades of, of bear. So again, oh my like, gosh, there are far too many choices here. There really are. Sometimes the, sometimes the funnest part is just scrolling through all of these to figure out which ones you like and which ones you don't care for. 
Brown on a panda doesn't seem right. Doesn't seem right, no. But there are brown pandas. They do exist in nature. Okay. And then so you have the option to change the hairstyle as well. Um, and so there's different variations. Oh in my the gosh. Mm -hmm. She can be like me. She can have color in her hair. You can. <coughs> oh my goodness. We've and, got it. So this is one of the fun ones where if you want to, again, you can click on the character and spin it around so you can see what it looks like from the backside as well if you want to because sometimes they have different appendages or braids on their back so okay so how how do how do so, i so left click on the on the character i am left clicking on the character and just kind of spin it oh or there's the arrows at the bottom there too i suppose oh this is perfect yeah. okay okay and then you have the option of hair color so they have um different kind of color parts of their hair i believe um, so if you wanted to have like pink in the hair or, or green or white, blues, other colors. So this is one of the times you might want to see it from the back because you might see the colors easier. Oh, she can have purple. Yes, purple is a good color. Doesn't quite match her uh, her outfit though here. But her outfit will change, so don't worry about oh, that. Oh, her too. outfit will change. Yes. So I could I could be purple. Okay. Yes, you could be purple. It doesn't have to match right now, and okay. you can always absolutely change it much later too. Earrings. I get to choose earrings. You do. You get okay. you get options for earrings. Um. Okay. All right, so once you've cool. finished with all your options here, you can click the finish button there at the bottom. Okay. And I don't know. Name is unavailable. That does happen. So click the OK button. Okay. Just right there in the middle, and we can go ahead and change it later. We can go ahead and change it to another name. But again, um, sometimes the easiest way to just edit a name here. Oh, perfect. So now. Man Manda Panda. Manda Panda, perfect. So now we can enter, click to enter the world, and you're going to get a quick little narrative about. Um, their story here. Oh, she swings her hips nicely. Mm hmm So one of the things, yeah, so go ahead and watch this. You'll enjoy this. Oh, great graphics. Mm-hmm. Now, would she exist on every plane? Um, she won't exist on every <laughs> server um, unless you transfer her in this case. Okay. Uh, but most people, again, when they play the game, will stay on one server for the most part. Okay. Um, they generally won't venture out um, of their server because that's where all their friends or that's where they've spent the most time at. Kind of like getting a job. You want to kind of stay at the same place for long periods of time if you, if you can. Okay, so this is a snooper display. When you move the mouse over or target someone, their recent chat history will show up in here. Ah, just a second there. This is a listen window. Let me get in there. They're like an advanced chat box. Okay. Yes, so I have a number of different little add-ons um, for the game here. Okay. Um, so I have a number of different little add-ons for the game that help make it a little bit easier. So now um, you're you're moving places. things around the window, so you have the ability to do that. That's pretty cool. So you can put them where you want. Not everything necessarily. So okay. A lot of the um, some of the add-on elements do let you move around the objects in there, um, but they don't necessarily. Um, not all the regular windows will let you do that. So. Our greatest tri triumphs are before us. Mm-hmm. So okay. this is an element of the game that's probably one of the most popular or most active elements of the game is known as uh, the quest. How and do so, I get her to walk? Oh, so what you want to do is on the keyboard, you're going to notice uh, four sets of keys known as the W-A-S-D keys. Uh -huh. So the Oh, w east, west? Kind of like that, yeah. So the W key moves you forward. Um, literally a W? Yeah, so the W uh, with your left hand will oh. move you forward, and okay. then the S button will move you backwards. Oh gosh, what happened here? Oh, the, you're okay. You're okay. Those are other people. Just uh, those are people are uh, what they call leveling. So anytime you get kind of a flash, they're leveling. Okay, so so I, I want to I want to walk. 
Yep. But see. I'm going to walk right over this thing. It's okay. I, okay. You won't take any damage. Okay. She has a vice, a little graceful sort of thing. And then if you want to turn, you can uh, use the A and D keys to turn. Okay. So, oh, okay. So then I want to walk. Oh, gosh. Oh, somebody just got in your camera there. My turtle. That's that's my turtle. That's your turtle. Yes, he is. Okay. So. Okay, where am I going? So what you want to do is go ahead and spin around behind you here. So you kind of want to turn around a little bit and go. Um, we want to get back up that hill. I want to get back up that hill. Yeah. So you'll see it to you. You see how the yeah. the wall kind of goes around to the right. Now you can walk and turn at the same time. Oh. My and my pet knows to stay out of my way. Well, your pet will your pet will follow you. Okay, so I I assume I'm going up to to Master Shang. Yep, you're going to go talk to him. Okay. So um so you've already accepted the quest from him. I think it's an automatic quest uh, that you receive from him. And what you want to do here is we're actually going to follow the hill down some. Okay, so we're going to, so I'm going to go this this way and follow the... Well, you go back down the hill. I'm going to go where I came from? Yeah, so you're going to go walk back back down the hill. So okay. an alternative to, so an alternative to moving, um, spinning around with the with the A and D key. I know, I, what happens if I walk into... Another player? Yeah. You'll be fine. You'll go right through them. Okay. So you don't have to worry about that. Okay. So you see that rack of weapons just to your left? Yes. On the left hand screen? Go ahead and walk toward that and you want to and what we're, we're gonna do is uh with the mouse you're gonna uh right click on it. And you right click on a weapon? I believe on the um, let's see here. You can click I on any ducked underneath. Yep. You can click on a weapon. So long as you see a little gear symbol going on, that means that you can click on it. Okay, well, I'm clicking on them, but nothing's happening. Um, Am I too close? No, I think you may have uh, gotten it already, perhaps. I don't see. How do I know what weapons I have? I have a weapon rack, but my weapon rack doesn't seem to have anything. So if you right-click right there where, it's at, where you have the little mouse, perfect. Uh-huh. So you want to click here where it says trainee crossbow. So now you've gotten that. And then you have a little backpack there in the bottom right hand corner. There. There. Uh, there. Yeah, the your backpack. Okay. So you see where the highlighted option is? Where yeah. The, so if you right click on that. Okay. You're going to. Oh. So now you have a crossbow. I'm now wearing back. the crossbow. Cool. So, okay. So, now what do I do? So now we want to go back up and talk to, um, talk to the guy. <coughs> Okay, and I click on him? Yep, you can right-click on him. So he's going to complete the quest for you. So anytime you, so what you really want to look for in this game, a lot of time are going to be the yellow apostrophes and the yellow question marks above people's heads. So those are, okay. so all you have to do on the, you'll see the little text on your left-hand side of the screen. Uh-huh. Says, that's, he says that you've, uh, so he's going to tell you how much he's going to give you for doing a good job of collecting that crossbow. Okay. Give you a little experience, and if you say complete quest, he'll move you on to the next one. And so all you have to do here is click accept, and you'll be um, and you'll accept the quest. Okay. So now what am I doing? Um. Let's see. What is my quest? So on the right hand side, you'll see quests. So I, there's oh. a, there's a lot of little stuff there. So I have all sorts of training things. So I, w I so I choose one. Yep. So you're gonna go down to one of them down there. So you're gonna um, go ahead and head on down to one of them. I can walk backwards. You can. So here's a nifty trick I'm gonna teach you here. Um, what you can do with the mouse if you. Okay. Now I see other people. Are they seeing me too? Yeah, they are. Okay. So, so where am I going? So you go any one of those training dummies, those little little bags kind of moving around. Like that one right there. That one right in front of you. You can click on it with your mouse. 
And when it's highlighted, that usually means that that's what you're aiming at right now. Okay, that's your so, focus. I might, so, so do I, what do I do? So um, go ahead and click on the bag. Okay. And you want to use, and you want to basically, you're going to beat it up. With, with why? So, uh, how? <laughs> so this very bottom button here is your action bar. Oh. Those are where all your abilities are. So if you remember playing D&D, &D, you had a bunch of special I can abilities. sit down. Oh, well, you can eat. So that one there is going to give you stuff to eat. Okay. So that one shoots stuff for you. And so and that's also representative if you press the one button as well on the okay. keyboard. All right. So I shot a bunch of things. Mm -hmm. and, you, and you beat it. And I have one shot left? Is that what that's telling me? Nope, that's just the one button. Okay, so do I walk over to this one and do the same thing? Well, because you're a ranged person, you can just click on it from where you are. And you can shoot it from right there. And your pet will also come over and help you as well. He'll attack the bag. So what a lot of people will do, their left hand kind of hovers around the WASD keys. Okay. And then you again you can press the number one to do to use your abilities. So anytime oh. you have a little number down there, so this case okay. it says yeah. one and then you'll have a okay. two ability, so you can Got use those. Okay. All right, so now so these these ones up here above the So ability. now can I do this is hitting? Um, that is called quaking palm. It strikes a target with lightning speed and it uh, kind of deactivates them for a little bit. Oh, okay. So it wouldn't make any sense little. to do this. Not, not for these guys, though. No, they're okay. not fighting back. So I'm still doing this? Yep. And you have to do it uh, two more times according to the quest. Okay. I'm hitting one. Nothing's happening. The, these oh, ones. the one up here. Okay. Yeah, the, not, the, not the, the number bar, not the numerical pad. Okay. So then I click on this one here. Mm hmm And why don't we back up a little bit? You'll see you, can, you have a great bit of range, so... Okay. Yep, and you can go ahead and fire at it by pressing one. And you can shoot it from a distance. Excellent. Oh, I get a higher score this way. Um, yeah, they, those shots that you do are kind of more stronger hits that you do. Oh, okay. Um, as where normally it'll just reload and fire, reload and fire, but if you do press number one, it'll okay. do Okay, so now hit. do I go back up? Because it's not recreating it for me. Um, well, you, you've finished killing five of them now, so we want to go back up and talk to the guy again, because that's where the yellow question mark is at. Okay, so now now I'm presented with a new quest. This is the lesson lesson of the stifled pride. Mm -hmm. Facing a living opponent is very different. I have to shoot somebody. Well, we shoot a lot of people in this game. Challenge other trainees. So I just walk up to somebody. Yep. Um, preferably one of the ones that are um, don't have like a um, that'll probably say trainee. They'll tell you usually who you want to go toward usually. And they'll be happy to see me? Um, yeah, again, you're, you, Pandarians are very peaceful, loving dudes at the end of the day. They're mostly just kind of here to hang out and have I don't, a good... I don't want this guy, right? Nope, he can't, he can't do anything for you. Well, everybody's busy. I like my turtle. Ooh, good. Um, you want one of the ones that probably says a trainee above their name somewhere. Like that person right there. They might be a trainee if you click on them. They say trainee on them? Yes. Perfect. So you can, um, if you have, so you, what you can do is you can go up to them. So you want to get a little bit closer. And sometimes uh, they'll give you a little quest. Sometimes you'll give you... Tell me of your travels. What do I do? How do I tell her? 
Um, click on a right, right click on her, which is the interact button essentially. So if she doesn't do anything, you'll have to, you'll have to <coughs> forgive me. It's been a while since she's I've. She's uh, an aspiring trainee. Um, you have to. Oh, so you want to actually go through the building here in this case. Oh, okay. So. So um, I could. I, you said I could just walk right through her, right? Yeah. Yeah. She won't notice anything. So yeah. So see the guys kind of light up to say Taichu trainee. Those are the guys you want to. You those are the guys you want to go after. And so. Oh, okay. So so I walk up to one of those. You can actually just attack them from right here. Again, you have long range. You can attack them from a long distance. I here. attach attack them with my. Mhm. Mm just make sure you click on one of them first. Okay. So I click on this guy. Mhm. Mm and I attack. It. Yep. So he's going to come after you and try to hit you back, but you can keep pressing one to, to to keep attacking him. Oh, I, I keep forgetting, keep forgetting. Yep. And you don't need to click on them every single time. The, there's an, uh, once you click it the one time. Okay. Um, so then how many people do I have to do here? So they say you have to do six in this case. So you got to, excellent. Do I, do, am I, am I helped at all by backing up? Um, not really. They don't hit hard enough for you that you'll worry about it here. So you see this little orange bar in the top yeah. left-hand corner right here? Uh -huh. That's what your that's your energy me meter, and so it basically tells you how many times you can do stuff. It auto refills, okay. So you don't have to worry about that. But when it runs out, you can't shoot any. You can't shoot any of your good shots anymore. My so turtle get, has energy too. He does. He has his own special abilities. He can't use just yet, but he will have special abilities for you. Um, Yep, so you can keep attacking other people there. Okay, so okay, so I just keep going. Attack more people. You can attack more people. You have to you have to basically be six at the end of the day. Now my turtle, my my turtle's attacking him too. Oh yeah. That's the that's the benefit of having a pet at the end of the day, is that your pet will, um, as a hunter, they'll help you out quite a bit. And at later levels here, what he'll do is he will um, go and attack people for you, and basically he'll get their attention so they don't attack you at the end of the day. <coughs> Excellent. And it looks like you got one more to do one here. One more, okay. Awesome. Okay. And he just appeared right behind you. Oh, so, I, so I'm going to click on him? Yep. So what you can also do here as well is if you use um, on your mouse, you can use, um, if you hold down the right button, it'll turn, it'll actually turn your character. So go ahead and click, go ahead and left click that. And you okay. got yourself a belt and you leveled up. And I leveled up. Yep. Okay. So now I have the lesson of the burning scroll. scroll. Mm-hmm. And gather your wits. I'm ready to stash the flame. As you see, I want you to climb to the top of the mountain of the temple and burn the edict of temperance that you find there. Snatch the frame from my palm. How do I snatch it? Well, you actually already have it in your in your inventory. So if you look in your bag, you see the little uh -huh. glowing little red yeah. flame in there? Uh-huh. Yep, so that's the flame. Okay, so I have the flame? Yep, so go ahead and make sure you click accept because you always got to accept the quests. Okay. Um, and then... What we need to, so let's go. I need to go to the top of the temple. Mm-hmm. So here's what we're gonna do. I want what I want you to do is with your with the mouse, hold uh -huh. down the right button, and okay. spin it around. So then what you can do is that'll control where you're where you're going. Oh, okay. So this way, if you point it in the right direction, you'll keep going that way. Okay. So this way, so you don't. So he said I have to go to the top of the temple, so I have to go up the stairs. I believe those stairs to the right there. Yep. Okay. I can't wait till we do shooter games. This will be so much more interesting. Okay, so now I have to I have to light something. So um, so keep going around the corner here, I believe. Yep, we I think we need to go to the top of this building here. Okay. Uh, 
How do I get? Oh, another staircase. Yep. So I think there's one more level above this to go up. So you're saying I can hold down. Yep, you hold down the right trigger of the mouse here, okay. and if you move, and, you, and if you hold it down at the same time while moving forward with the with your with the W key, uh -huh. you can move around pretty easily in a lot of cases. There is no further to go, unless I'm going someplace else. I think we might want to try one of the outdoors. Okay, I see. There's there's scrolls. What are the scrolls? Um, that might be what you need to burn. See how it's glittering? So that means you can interact with it probably. So if you use your okay. mouse, you scroll up to it. You burned it. I burned it. Okay, cool. Okay. So now what now I go back down? Yep, yeah, I would go back I would spin around and go back downstairs. Okay, so you said I can I can do this. Yep, you can move forward and use your mouse at the same time. It takes a little bit of practice oh. in some cases, but sometimes it can be a lot easier moving around this way. Oop. Also, let me know if the if the music's too loud for you as well. Nope, you I can got always it. turn it down. Okay, so now, oh, okay, there we go, there we go. The graphics are, are, are pretty incredible here. The, they are really good. They used to be they used to be a lot meh at one point, but they've gotten a lot better over time. I think you need to, uh, if you just came downstairs, you need to kind of spin yourself around here to go back downstairs. Oh, okay. I disappeared. Oh, okay. you're just too close to a wall. I figured it out. Yeah, sometimes okay. if you get too close to a wall, you will uh, disappear into a wall a little bit. Yep, that away. It takes a little bit of uh, getting used to moving around with a mouse and keyboard sometimes. So. Well, yeah, I'm a coordination is not necessarily my. my That's okay. Right okay. So there so he is. So now I go back to. Ooh, too far. That's okay. Sometimes it's best to do either either one or the other when moving around. So, so you pull down the mouse a little bit, you'll get kind of a back to an overhead kind of view. A little. There you go. Okay. So you am I move. close enough? Okay. Yep. So you can right click on him. And you'll and you've completed the quest. Okay, so now am I looking for this guy? Now we're going to look for this guy here. So I am pay attention to what he looks like? Well, not only, you can pay attention to what he looks like. So I have to defeat him. Mm-hmm. So go ahead and click accept to accept the quest. Okay. And then if our, you look to the top right-hand corner, you're going to see our map there in the corner. You see where the uh, golden arrow is kind of pointing? Right here? Yep. What you can do is you can spin your character to point toward that arrow and then go in that direction so it's like a compass at the end of the day. Okay, so I can spin my... So so he's in this room? Um, he's not in this room. He's actually outside of it. So um, if okay, you kind so of look... Okay, leave. Yep, okay. So, so uh, if you look behind you, there's another exit behind you. Oh, there's another exit behind me. Mm-hmm. And then, oh. And if I were you on the mouse, what I would do is um, hold the right trigger down, <clears throat> the right trigger down and kind of 
pull it back a little. There you go. So you get a, a oh, slightly okay. more over over the top head kind of view. I'm going through the middle of their training. That's very rude of me. It's okay. <laughs> Trust me, there's a lot of weird, rude things that, that we characters do in the game. Okay. So. So I'm going to keep going down these stairs? Yep. The arrow points in that direction. So the arrow is usually a good guideline of where to go. It's not always the perfect example of where to go, but it basically will show you where to go, kind of like you would a compass on a, on a bicycle, I suppose. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. You're okay. You're not, you didn't disappear, I assure you. Remember, you want to right click to, to, move, to move the character. Oh, I keep forgetting, okay. Yeah, left one will just let you look around as where the, as where the right one will uh, move, move the character. So keep doing, holding on that button, then use the mouse to kind of turn your character a little bit. Okay, so now... He's on... Huh? He looks like he's on the other side of the bridge here. Okay. Pretty. Mm-hmm. It's so pretty. It's very lifelike, yeah. I love the I love the trees in the Pandaria area. They did a really good aesthetic of this Eastern, sort of Asian, sort of uh, oh, Chinese... Oh, I, I found him. Okay. Yep, there he is. So from right here, you can even challenge him. You don't have to get right up close to him. You can just attack him from a distance. Because remember, as a hunter, you have range. Okay. So you let's go ahead and do Click this. Click on him. Mm-hmm. Okay. There you go. Just attack him. Now why? Oh. Did you win? Not yet. Oh. So he looks to be a little bit harder today, or at least this one. This one is. And down he goes. Okay. So now, which I one? Go back. Um, so now, what you can do is, if you look at the map on the right-hand corner, uh -huh. you're gonna look for the, where the question mark arrow is. Oh. And your it looks like it's behind you. So if you turn around, we might see. There he is. I see at, him. He's at the top of the bridge. Okay. So. Oh, whoops. Okay. Okay. Right arrow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, oops. Oh, I even have running sounds. Mm-hmm. Little footpaths. You'll hear ambience. You'll probably hear crickets playing right now and the music, little kind of quirps of the characters. Okay. Yep, go ahead and complete the quest. And he's going to give you another one. He wants you to speak to a guy at a pond. Okay. So he says you show me a great... I want you to return to... The spirit of the fire to the temple of the five dawns. That's where I was before. Nope. That's no. a new place you're going to go to. But it says I want you to return. You want you to return the fire. Oh. Return to, the to how the spirit, okay. the spirit of got the fire. It, yeah. Got it. Okay. So I'm going to click accept. Now, if you look in your bag, you have some shiny objects in there. Those are gear. So if you so you right click on them. Or, oh no no hold on. Um, did you right click on them or? Oh, I'm sorry. There you go. And you, now you put it on. So now she has new gloves on now. Oh, okay. So you can do the same thing. She's got bracers. Um, What's this? So that's what they call a, a hearthstone. It basically means you go back to wherever you last uh, put your thing at. Um, okay. Or basically lets you return back to an inn or a safe place at the end of the day. It's meant to be okay, when you so are. And, and, and this is initiate cuffs? I want yep. cuffs? Yep. You can put those on as well. Okay. And then you have, so those are new kind of uh, bracelets, kind of like Wonder Woman has. Okay. Mm hmm And then the next one is a belt, so you'll get a new belt. Okay, so now I have all those things on, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So here's a cool thing we can do. So if you look at the bottom left-hand corner here, you see where it's got the little panda face on it? Yes. If you click on that, it's going to bring up your character screen. Oh. And that's what your character looks like right now. That's where you can also see... All of the different kind of items that you have and gear that she's wearing right now. So she's got different options for feet, shoe or shoes, pants, belts. She'll okay. eventually get a she'll eventually get like a hat or a helmet, shoulder pads, uh, a cape, even. Uh, okay. Okay, so I'm going that way. Yep, you going to go toward the arrow. Ooh, sorry. It's okay. Again, uh, what I, is you're you're all right. What I would do is again choke back on the right click and choke back on the mouse a little. So there you go. So you get a little more view there. Stairs can be a little tricky like that though. 
Oh, whoops. So there's also an option to, um, if you want, we can turn on an option here that lets you click on the ground and it'll move your character toward okay, so that. Now who's this? Just a wandering guy. <coughs> okay, if so just let him pass and mm -hmm. figure out where I'm going. So go and give me just a second here. Okay, so I, I can see myself moving on the map. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to help you out here a little bit to help you. May I borrow your mouse for a second? Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, I've got a bunny. Well, there are bunnies float, moving around. Um, forget where it is. So there's an option that we have in the game to move using the mouse clicks, if memory serves me correctly. I don't know where it is, because I don't use it well, a lot. I'll work on this. I can I can look at how I, I can figure out. I'm going to turn this option on. This is always very useful. Auto loot? Mm-hmm. Basically what it'll do is um, you don't have to click to um, collect anything. It'll just automatically collect it for you. Okay. Oh, I like the little bunny. So now we have click to move on. So now if you... Um, I can use this the way I use Google Earth. Okay. So yes, I understand this. Perfect. Okay. Okay, so I want to keep going. Okay, so I figure out how to stop myself. Okay, so now I want to go. Okay, oh, there yep. we go. And in this case here, so you can I also. I just saw a fox. Yep, a, a white fox. A white fox, okay. Mm -hmm. You might have to. So it looks like you want to go to the pathway to the left here, maybe. Yeah. I see a temple. Mm hmm. Oh, this is much easier. I this I can do. Okay. All now right. What are these things to the left here? Those are uh, we can well if you turn around to look at them, and you can click on them. Oh my gosh! What are they? We'll go ahead and click on them. They are amber leaf scraps. Yeah. So they're just little guys. You can you can actually fight them if you want to. You may not need to though. So. What do I get if I do that? Um, they might drop some stuff for you. They might drop some money or they might drop, uh, they might just drop coal or, you know, broken sticks or something. Let's see. So now his body is glowing, so you want to right click on the body here. And it gave you, and if you open up your backpack in the bottom right hand corner, now it gave you something here. See the flashing item? That's yeah. a new item. So it gave you something that's actually not, is what we call junk in the game. You basically sell it for, in this case, one copper. Okay. Yeah, All so right. it's not very useful stuff at the end of the day. Sometimes they drop stuff, sometimes they don't. Okay. Um, so, but, um, so we definitely, I think we might need to go into that cave. Which cave? Or the one behind us. Or in your case, behind you. Yes. Yes, I actually do know that. Okay. All right. Oh, I like this much better. Thank you. I tried. Oh. We didn't need to go into this cave. Huh? We didn't need to go into this cave. We didn't, but it's such a nice looking cave. It is. Look at all the cool scrolls and everything inside this cave. Yeah. Okay. All right. So it looks like he's just to our left here on the... Oh, I see where the pond is, so... If you go to your left right now, so around down just right down this hill here, I believe. So I still think if you need to stop yourself, you can press one of the movement buttons to stop yourself, probably. It's not there. Don't keep looking more to your left. So 
what I might recommend doing here, if you the mouse wheel, if you move it backwards, or the mouse wheel. Oh. You can scroll back a little bit or forward if you need to, so if it helps you see a little bit better. Well, I'm trying just trying to get her to walk. Okay. All right. Sometimes point to click can be a little funny. Sometimes. Ooh, look, there's she's practicing out there. Huh? There's a panda practicing out there. He's got training supplies. Can I get training supplies from him? Yep. So if we, um, so you see the little, um, so when you see this area here, it says what's for sale. What do I have for sale? Yep. So he mostly has food. You don't really need any food at this point. Okay. So. All right. So you can so don't need anything. click the little X at the very top. Yeah, all he has is just food and water. So you can go ahead He's and got tough jerky. Well, we're all a little bit tough, okay. aren't we? Okay. So, so I'm still not where I need to be? Well, no, he's got the arrow on him. Okay. Or the question mark on him, so we would want to talk to him. So we can click uh, this one here where it says the, it has the question mark on it. And we can complete it another quest. He's had bad luck in the for with the forest sprites. No, that's not good. So I need to complete this quest. That might be those uh, guys he was talking about earlier. Okay, so so what do I need to do? Well, go ahead. Um, so he's actually got two quests for you here today. So you can actually click on those little quests, those uh, exclamation marks there. And we can go ahead and accept it. So remember those amber leaf guys yeah. that we were attacking earlier? We'll go back and get those guys now. Oh. So go ahead and you can go ahead and accept it. Okay. And then he's got one more on him as well. He's got a missing diver. Or driver. Driver Risky. ran off after the sprites attacked. I don't think, I don't really don't think he did any harm. He just chased them off uh, towards the, the cliffs to the north. If you could head in that direction, you uh, should find him quickly. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So for... So now you've got two quests, two things you can do, so... Okay, so now I'm trying to figure out where I need to go. Yep. So remember, your mini map will help point you in the right way. Oop, you see him running with a barrel up there? Yeah. So those are the guys. So that might be the cart right there. But you might. But the guy. So we might need to attack those little yellow guys that we saw earlier with the yellow name tags on them. Yep, those guys right there. We want to. We're going to try to beat some of them back and take back our training supplies. Okay, so do I do I, I click on them and pick up something? Yep, if they have little glowing bodies, they have stuff you can pick up on them. So, uh, you did pick up two sets of training supplies. So okay. Yep. So now I need to grab that guy. Yep. So you still need four more training supplies here. And don't forget to click on the body to collect the, the to collect some stuff from him. I collected everything I can from him. Yep. Yeah. When the body, you know, I set it up so it'll automatically. Collect. Uh, okay. Yep. It'll automatically. All right. Collect so, for so you. what else do I need to do? So now I need to find the guy that uh, they ran off with. Yes. Um, you actually still need three more supplies. Oh. So. Okay, so I'm still looking for these guys. Oh, I, did I see one? No, that's not one. Um, I think there were some to your left. Up oh, there they are. See a little... Yep, there's one right there. So you actually, t in this case, you're too far out of range for him, but you can get closer to him and shoot him. There you go. Oop, you got two of them on you. So what do you think so far about this? Oh, this is fun. Okay, <laughs> so I've got all my training supplies. Now I need to find the other guy. Um, you have. So you what is the? Go to the north. Yep. So you see where the little circle is on uh -huh. the mini map? Kind uh -huh. of in the areas where you want to go.
So what I'm going to do here now... I'm seeing somebody else fight. Oh, no. What should I do? You can help him if you want. Well, how do I know who's bad and who's good? Well, the one that's red will be the one that's the bad. Will the other person be pissed at me? No, he might actually thank you, or okay. if they do at all. Okay, so now what do I do? Let's see here. I, I got some loot. Okay, oh. so, so now what do I do? Um, so again, what we want to do is we want to go to the little circle at the top there. So So that's over this way? Um, it's behind you, I believe. Okay, I'm having a hard time orienting myself here. That's what, it's, it's a very big world. Oh, you got a monkey guy on you. Do I have to hurt him? Yeah, he's gonna he's not gonna leave you alone unless you get far enough away. So you have to turn around to attack him. Okay. So it's been around. There you go. An attack. Okay, so I'm still looking for my guy. So how do I tell where my guy is? I'm not I'm not understanding. So if you so if you look on the map, uh huh. Let me let me help you out with the yeah. So on the mini map to your right hand side, right. You see the little square right there, or yeah. the little circle right there. What yeah. you want to do is you want to move your character toward there. Okay, and that's over this over to my right. And over to your right. So if you. So in this case, what I would do, um, so it's more to your right here. So I would actually spin your character a little bit here with your mouse keys. Oh, now you're in the right 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 direction. Well, what are what are my awful little people doing there? They're just all over the place. Where's well, my driver? I think your driver might be this panda guy right there. Yep, that would be your driver. Okay, so I need to go over there. Mm -hmm. How do I... I should have fought them off alone. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll, I should go find my cart. So he, yeah. So you saved him. He's going to go back to the cart, um, and you want to go back to uh, right. yeah. where you came from by the pond, because that's right. probably where the quest giver will be at. So now I have to remember how to get back to the the pond. Well, don't forget you have your mini map to help you as well. Yeah. And you want to always point yourself toward either a, uh, either the blue kind of highlighted areas on your mini-map, or on... I like the, all these little foxes. They are very cute, aren't they? You know, what's the green above them? Um, that's just their name. Okay. So. Or I believe that's <coughs> their name, at least. Now, I got some... So you were saying you have some... I got some, some copper loot earlier. Yep. Okay, so now what do I do? So I'll go ahead and, go ahead and click uh, goodbye for him. There you go. So the ones that have the uh, question marks on them, uh -huh. like you uh, like you did when you started the quest, you want to click those again to go ahead and... Um, okay. Uh, Items about most importance of missing driver, uh, driver, I, driver I did, right? So I said, well, no, yes, yeah, so you got you to... Gotta, so what you want to do now is you want to collect the rewards. Okay, how do I do that? So you want to mouse over the guy that's got... Uh, let's go ahead and zoom in a little with the mouse. So just kind of a, like you're scrolling um, up. There you go. So you want to click on the guy that's got the question mark above us. There you go. When the mouse turns, do a question mark. And then you just go ahead and click on the question mark items there. Yep. And go oh, ahead. okay. Yep. Okay, so how do I give him the stolen training supplies? Um, again, you right-click on him and um, you, um, just click uh, continue. You'll give it automatically. Oh, continue. Okay. Yep. It's more or less that you have him. You on, it's assumed that you would click. automatically give it to him after okay. that. Okay. Then click continue. And so now you got a cape, and so now you can wear um, a cape. I can a, wear a cape? You can wear a cape on your back, yes. Oh, very good. I'm feeling, I'm feeling prettier. Okay. We're so feeling now, heroic, So I now think. where do I go? Um, so the next quest, quest giver there will give you a new quest. I believe she's going to give you a chess piece here next time. 
So you can go ahead and accept okay. it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I need to protect her while she meditates. So that, means, so that means that some guys might come up to attack her in the meantime. So your job will be to make sure nobody comes and, and tries to stop her while she's okay, meditating. Okay, and that's that cave that we were in earlier. Yep. So we want to head over toward that cave here at this time. Okay. Trying to get us turned around. Okay. Try to remember how we got to the cave. Um, so when we go up to the top of the, when we get up to the top of the pathway, there we want to turn around to the right and follow the, right. the pathway. Right. I do remember that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to my left? Um, to your right, I believe, because that's where the cave is. Remember? Yep. Uh, yep, there's your cave. Okay. Oh, she takes me right through the bushes. Okay. And right through the, the lighter. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, no. Now, I mean, is that actually another person playing the game? Uh, where? The, the, when I see the lighters and, and things like that, the other figures? Um, if you see like a blue name above their head, um, then that's a, then that's another person. Yes. Okay. So when he says the creatures at bay, who does she mean? Um, so those little things attacking behind you. Huh? Those things attacking behind you. Oh. Yep. So go ahead and uh, turn your. Uh, you're going to want to spin your character around. There's more of them coming. These waves will last a little bit until that, you see that white bar at the bottom fills up? Uh-huh. So there's a white bar that you'll see um, kind of in the middle of the screen almost. Once that fills up, then you are, um, then you will have, uh, then you will have beaten all of them. Takes a little bit though. Slow down. Well, I think she might be finished, so I might spin around his character around to go and look at her now. Oh, I think she's outside now. No, she's still there. Oh, uh, but she doesn't have a yellow uh, question mark above her. Oh, there, he, there they are. So you want to go talk to that person. Okay, so if I, if... If you? Um, if I don't, if, if I, I want to go look at the quest again. Okay, ah. there we go. I figured it out. Oh, okay, cool. Yep. Okay. Yep, so that's also a map of the entire area as well for you. Okay, so I need to go to that village, which is up and off to my left. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then so, and, and then somebody else will will uh... point you in the right way. Okay. So the quests are meant to kind of um, take you through a little bit of an area and then lead you on to the next place that you need to go to. Okay. Um, we call them uh, breadcrumbs in the game. So this is Dawning Valley. Yep. And some of the best things to do in the game are to get to nice hot to get to nice like overlooking hills and get to the top of them and just kind of look at it, everything else happening around you in some Oh, cases. okay. So I should go to this overlooking hill? If you want to. Um, not all hills can be climbed. Um, but when you see a nice <coughs> place, you can certainly look from that vantage point. 
Oh, is this the village I'm supposed to go to? Um, let me take a look here. It's got kites? Yep. And that's where the uh, question mark is at, too. I don't see the question mark. Where's the question mark? Um, on your map. Oh, on my map. Okay. Yep. I apologize. It's a really big screen to look at sometimes. Oh, okay. Sorry, girl. Okay, st stop. Stop. <laughs> your pet's in the way. I would, um, again, pull, right click and pull the throttle back on the mouse. Point to click works well in a lot of cases. Okay, so what 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 happens if I attack that guy who's like just hanging there? Uh, which one? This guy. Um. You can you can attack him all you want. Um. He doesn't. It's not necessarily a part of the quest or anything. It's just something new to do. Okay. He didn't give me anything. Sometimes they don't. Oh, cool! Fox in my face. Oh, you have a fox. I had a fox in my face. Ooh, nice. And keep in mind that when you get to a higher level, you can actually train the foxes to be to be. In really? Two. Yep. So if you didn't want a, um, if you didn't want a, uh, what you call it, um, your turtle at all, you could get a fox instead. I like my turtle. He's a good turtle. Shall we call him Nick? Yeah. Can I name my turtle? Um, not yet. At a later level, you can okay. actually name. So, it. so where am I going here? All right, let's take a look. Um, so behind you should be where the, your question mark is at. Oh, my question mark's behind me. Okay, yep. I do see I'm going away from Okay, so stop, stop. <laughs> spin around. And again, if you hold down the right, the right click button and then kind of pull back, there you go. Give you a little bit more access to see the ground there. So I think he's in that hut just right in front of you. Oh, there he is, just on the pathway to the left there. Okay. Do you see him? Yep. Okay. It's good to see me. What 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 just happened there? Do, do I attack this thing? Yeah. Oh yeah, no. If something's attacking you, you have every right in the. You, sh you should definitely attack it back. It's not... Things attacking you are not good. They're not nice. They are bad things. Okay. So, that wasn't nice. Okay, I've heard some other rather impressive things about you. I'm going to complete the quest? Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, you gained ah. another level. And it looks like you got a new ability, too. Oh, what did I get? Let's take... All right. So, uh, you got concussive shot. What so, does that mean? Okay, so go ahead and let's go ahead and accept the quest first, because you'll get a. Okay, so what's what is my quest? Yep. So uh, you have to beat up those monkey guys. Oh. So those little monkey guys that are kind of yeah. hanging out there. Those are guys you have to beat up. So the okay. so your number two button right now has the ability when you shoot it, it slows them down so they don't come at you quite. They don't they don't uh, run okay. trudge for you quite as quickly. Okay. So. Oh no, you've already got the quest, so you don't need to yeah, worry about yeah. that at all. Yeah. No, I'm trying to move me. Oh, um, there we go. Because I think I was too far away. How many, so where do I find some more of these? So you see that big panda right in front of you? Oh my goodness. The big one waving to you right there. Uh huh. So how do I how do I wave back? Um. So, what you can do is you see the little chat menu there at the bottom left hand corner. Uh huh. There's a little box right there. Just click uh -huh. right there. Uh huh. And then what you want to do is you want to use uh, the slash key where the question mark is. And then you can type wave. Wave. Woo. And you wave back, yay. Okay, oh, and I, I greet you with a hearty hello. How do I say hello? Um, same thing, you can type slash hello.
No, okay. undo this to you. That's me, actually. Oh. So if you said click the button at the top where it says accept, uh, up toward the top, top middle. Huh? Now we're oh, in a party. Oh, we're in a group. Okay. Yep. So now we can work together toward our quests and objectives. You made that just for me. I did. You are an elder. Oh, um, I have a, I have a number of different titles, so I can be. Okay. Uh, so how many more of these monkeys do I need to kill? Um, we probably. Well, I need to kill eight of them anyway. So. So, but when I get, but when I kill something, you'll get credit for it as well. Well, how do I go? How do I go? Get get them. How do I go find them? Um, oh. So they're kind of all around. So all you have to do is kind of just kind of shoot at them sometimes. Okay. Oh my goodness! I, I I've got myself sort of like in between people. It's okay. So you want to follow me just right behind you here. Okay. You've got somebody else right behind you here. Oh yeah, there's another person over that way. That's another person too. That is another person. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out where, where my where my monkeys are. So Oh, so that was fun. <laughs> oh, spinning around? Yeah. So if you see the jumping panda to your left. Uh huh. That's me. This and, guy? No no no. Um This guy. See that jumping panda right there? Okay. The one that's dancing now. Huh? Oh, hi. <laughs> How do you do that? <laughs> every, every, everyone's got their own little dance. So there's another monkey over here. So I should follow you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I would... So anything, anybody's got like a little red icon above their head is the guys that we want. Those are the monkey guys we need. Okay, well what about this guy up here? Yep, that's the guy we want. So one of the benefits of being in a party is that we um, uh, is that we complete stuff quicker in some cases. Okay. Um, and there's less likely. I'm getting better at moving around. Good. Where'd you go? Oh, sorry. Okay, right here. Sorry. Thank you. So there's another monkey around the corner here if you want. Oh, uh, around, uh, oh, I'm getting better. Oh, around the corner the there, back. okay, all right. Well, I can... See him off in the distance over there? Yeah, I do. Oh, I got another monkey on me. Thank you. So I've got, let's see, how many, oh, I leveled. Some of the monkeys are bigger. Where do you see the bigger monkeys? Well, I think that's a bigger monkey. Well, I think we might have just been closer to the monkey. Okay. Well, now we don't need to kill any more monkeys. We can go back to the uh, guy with the question mark. There's a stylish panda with some gear. I like I like the goatee. Oh, thank you. Nicely done. Okay, so I complete the quest. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to get two new quests as well. So, <laughs> fanning the flames and kindling fire. Okay, so what do I do with fanning the flames? Um, so, fanning the flames, um, we have to go to where the... Um, so, if you notice in the bottom... So, go ahead and accept both the quests. Okay. And then, uh, remember what we want to do is we want to look at our mini-map here. And it says that we want to go. Um, we we want to go out of this little area. I'm I'm following you. Oh, yeah, I would recommend it. Yeah. That's you, right? That's me. I like that. Yep. We've made our own group. Will other people want to join our group? Um. In a lot of the cases, a lot of people, when they're playing the game at earlier levels. Um, uh -huh. 
they mostly will stick to themselves. Well, yeah, because I don't know what I'm doing. I don't want to... Well, I mean, some people admittedly do know what they're doing. So, oh, there you are. I got, I got a monkey on me. Oh, thank you. So see this item that's right next to me, uh, this yellow highlighted op, uh, yeah. item? That's something that we need to collect. So sometimes we have to collect roofs off the ground or okay, spare so, swords. So, so we collected it? Yep. And it's we a wind stone. What does it do? Summon a living air near a shrine of the summer breeze. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that's, um, I believe that's that stone artifice in the background over here that's kind of glowing to us. Uh, but we need to collect uh, the little uh, dry dogwood uh, roots. Well, how do we, what are these? What's that? The little red stuff on the ground? Well, okay, the red stuff on the ground flowers. Yeah. But what's this? That's the thing we need to use the fluttering breeze on, or the, the windstone on. Oh, a monkey. Okay, so where where are we going? So go ahead and um, head over here to the stone. Okay. I'm trying. That's okay. okay. And then um, you can you you can right click on the windstone to use it on the stone itself. Ah, here we go. We got some living air. Oh, what are these? What are these? Oh, these are other things we need to beat. So I need to turn myself. So you can go ahead and right click on it and he has something that you need to pick up. Huh? Um, you can click on the little glowing body there and yep, stuff to pick up. Okay. Cool. Okay. Yeah, some items you can only have one of at a time. Okay. So now where to? Um, so we still need to collect more of the uh, roots from these trees. So we need to look around the trees and see if we can find um, got anything, that one. Okay. anything that's kind of uh, glowing for us. That's not glowing? Um, which one? Oh, that's glowing. That's perfect. Okay. Yep. So we need to collect uh, five of those in total. How do I click? Okay. Yep. Just right click to interact with them. Huh? All you have to do is just right click to interact with okay. them. Okay. So I'm looking for the glowing things. We need five. Oh, and monkeys four. are all over the place, aren't they? They are. This is a very monkey. Um, so rich. what do I do? I walk around the trees and try to find things. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. So um, you'll see it because it's kind of highlighted, and your mouse will turn into a little gear shape when you when you spot one. So if you look over by me right now, I thought I saw something glowing there, but I guess I didn't. Ooh. Back up here. And go after these monkeys. Okay, well, oh, what am I hearing? Oh, that's me uh, beating up the monkeys to up there. Oh, he just flew right at you, didn't he? Oh, you look so good leaping. Well, you okay. can do that too, actually. How? By pressing the space bar. So the space bar is your uh, jump button. Okay, so how many more of these roots do we need? Let's see here. I think you need at least two more. I need three more in total. Found another one. So they're around trees. Found yourself a monkey problem, I see. I just found another one. Oh, good. And then there's another one in this uh, tree by this little fox. This, if you look up here, there's a sleeping fox very cute. Okay, so how many more do we need? 
Um, you need, I believe, one more. Cool. Okay. All right. So now we take it back to that thing. Well, after we beat up this monkey. Yep, so we got to go back to the, the one guy, so we'll go back to uh, where the question mark is, which is up here um, to our north-ish. You're so much faster than I am. How do you bounce? Uh, uh, space bar. Space bar will let you jump. Oh. So if you're moving forward and then you jump, you jump and bounce. Kind of a fun little way to walk sometimes is just to bounce and bounce. We're not Tigger, but we, you know. And then Here we can. Me. Yep. And we can talk to our G Fire Paw here. And then Master Shang is back. He's right behind you. He's just to the left there. Yeah, what am I doing? So you see the guy with the... Yeah. Yep, he just appeared there. So it says we need to go to the Shrine of the Inner Light. Is this... I don't suppose it'd be that close. Um, well, it is on the other side of the bridge. It's on the other side of the bridge? Mm-hmm. This so we, bridge? Yep, so we have to run past some monkeys. No, is she actually another person, or is she just... Um, if she's got a green name, then she's uh, what we call an NPC or non-player character, which means that she's not real at the end of the day. So We need to follow this path over here. I do appear to be a lot quicker. That's weird. I believe the guy we need to talk to might be in this cave here. What a beautiful waterfall. It is, isn't it? See, yes, he is in this cave. So we need to go... Uh, oh, that's not a cave? So, well, you, you're you just behind a rock right now. Okay. I'm between a rock and a hard place. Look at this cool pond. It is a beautiful pond. So what we need to do is we need to go up um, through here. Oh. It's dangerous to enter the shrine right now. So what do we do? We need to walk through here while avoiding the fire. It'll do a little damage if we walk through it so it's not the end of the world. So... And at low levels here, then you're meant to, if it's okay. super easy. So we'll just go up these paths here. Okay, so then I'm going to go over this bridge? Yep. Oh, it's so pretty. I know, right? You picked a good starting area. Everything here is very pretty and very story I just walked on water. Um, well, it's deep enough that you, uh, it's not that deep enough, so it's like a little pool. Yeah, and no, I got it. Okay, so now, so now what do I do? So see the uh, guy with the question mark? Yeah. Yep. We need to talk to him. He'll tell us what to do next. You're strong in mind and will, but you lack okay. the skill to face me in combat. Take this torch. That torch? I think he'll give us one. Yeah, he'll give us a torch. Oh, I just got a torch. You did. Oh. And then so you see the little brazier that's right next to us? Uh huh. It's so a little uh, fire pit that's right next to us? Yeah. I think we need to light the fires. Okay, little... I got it. I got it lit. Okay. Now so, where do I go? So see how the, you see the little glowing bits around the area here? Yeah. So go ahead and right click on that to light it on fire, I believe. Okay, now what do I do? Um, there's 
two more around the around the around the pool here. Oh, got it. Is that somebody else completing the same quest? Well, that's me. Oh, that's you. Yep. Okay. Okay. So the, you said there's another one. Um. Yes. Uh. Right over by the bouncing panda. I want to say one of the one of the Pandarians here is actually voiced by Jim Cummings, who does the voice oh. of Winnie the Pooh. Oh, very cool. So, he's actually okay. done a couple different characters in the game. So, <coughs> complete the quest. Yep. Oh, cool! You leveled. Oh. So now we have to fight fight him. Slow down. Sorry. So we have to uh, fight him now. Which is okay. We're meant to win these fights. These are not necessarily not trivial, but these are fights we're all supposed to win. Okay, I'm trying to hit him with my, my two guy. So the two guy doesn't do a whole lot of damage. It just kind of like slows him down a little. So if I run and you... So see how he doesn't move quite so quickly? He just walks instead of... In just a second, he'll start running after me. Oop. Where did he go down? Oh, he was just right behind you, so... There you go. Number one on him. There's nothing to attack. Nope, oh, because we beat him. Now, who is this? That's another player. That's another player. Yep. She was killing monkeys here a little bit earlier. So I got a new uh I got a new weapon. I believe you may have gotten a new bow and arrow, maybe. Let's see here, what did I get? Oh, I got a I got a rather silly mace. Okay. Oh, I don't want to use that oh there's so so there are all sorts of these. Okay. Yep. So now so now where are we going? So, um, so if you look in your bag in the bottom right hand corner, you right. have some new items there too. I do. What do I have here? So, um, so if you mouse up, you can see you have um, you have a staff now. For you, yeah. you don't really want to use a staff because the uh, the crossbow oh, is better. Cool boots, though. Can I put on the boots? You can put on the boots. Just right click on them. So now you're wearing boots, and then you have new pants and a chest piece as well. Oh. So. Okay. Perfect. So now if you press uh, the panda button on your left hand side there, the little on this is the bottom right hand corner, you have the little panda yes. face there. That's what your character looks like now. Oh, she's looking cool. Oh, yes. Very okay. cool. I like the way she swings her hips. Okay. Very, very girly. Okay. All, All right. right. So I think we probably need to leave the cave now. Okay. So we'll go uh, the way we came. Oh, down the bridge, I think. Huh? Oh, back down. Back. Oh, down? We don't get to go in here? This looks cool. It does. They do a really good job of dressing up the different areas. I mean, like, this has got a lot of very cool Chinese kind of theming to it. Well, where's down? Just follow the, the bouncing panda. Oh, I okay. So I can go down there? Yep. I'm trying. It's okay. You guess we will. We get stuck a little. Thank you for your patience. It's okay. So we're going to go down to uh, the pathway to our right here. Because what we need to do is we need to get to that circle over there-ish. Oh, not the bridge? Uh, I think we need to go over the bridge and then... Uh, or over here? Well, now I don't know. Oh, we need to go back into that cave. We went the wrong. I went the wrong way. 
Oh, you got a you got a monkey on you. So we need to go back into that cave. We went the wrong way. Okay. We need to go back to the cave. Sorry. It's okay. I like the cave. The cave is oh, very cool. Caves are very good. Okay, so where are we going in the cave? So, um... I think we have to go up behind where the one guy was. Okay. So. I like my turtle follows me everywhere. He's a good turtle, isn't he? Yep. A oh. Little, little fire spirit over here. And so what you should have in your pouch here should be uh, Ho's Offering. It's a little green item that's um, kind of got a gold border on it. Well, what do I do? Um, right click on it. Or, or no, and the little... All right, huh? well, I guess I did it for us. Well, I right clicked on it. Oh, well, then you did it. Okay. Yep. So I use the spirit of fire. Yep. So now we get to talk to the to the new to the spirit of fire guy who might give us a quest here. Ah. So we need to go. So now we can leave the cave. Okay. But we have a, I believe. Yep. We have a little. He's giving us a speed boost. Oh, what did we get? Um. So if you notice, you um. So. Um, oh. Okay. Yep. I have a staff of the master. No, I uh, had a staff before, right? Yeah, yeah. You don't really need the staff, though. Okay. So go ahead and accept the quest, and he's and now you'll get a new crossbow. Huh? So now now you'll get a new crossbow when we turn in the next quest. Okay. So. Um, okay. So what we can do? We can actually take a little bit of a shortcut. Oh, where is he going? Oh, he's following me. Huh? That one's following me, but you have your own right there too. See, he follows you like the turtle does. Oh. Yep. So he's we can, mine. Yep, that one's yours. Oh, I like him. Yep. You won't have him for very long, though. So so if you just run down here. Yep. Oh. Oops, sorry. You're I okay. To... Oh, how do I get back out? Um, jump. Huh? So uh, what I would do is I would click. Um, yeah, so this is one of those times where you'll want to uh, run forward and jump at the same time. So I would click um, outside of the cave on the ground, maybe. Huh? So I would click outside. Of, there you go. Okay, got it. Alrighty. Am I saying goodbye to my my fire spirit? No, no, he's following you. Okay. So. Um, Where are you going? Um, we're we're going the right way. Where are we going? The right Go way. Back to the village. Um, so there's another village that we have to go to actually. So and that's where we're gonna go to here in just a second. So I'm going to beat up some monkeys here real quickly because they looked at me the wrong way. You didn't like them? Well, again, they, they, they started the fight first. They knew what they were getting at when they started a, a fight with a, with a guy three times tar taller than him. Okay. All right. What's oh. that? With the bunny? Okay. With the bunny. Which bunny are you seeing? Well, what what's this? That is a frog. Oh, that's a frog. Or a toad in this case. Okay. All right, where to? Um, over the bridge. Where's the bridge? Uh, to your... So you go to the left path. Okay, uh, up, down, right, left. Um, down, behind you. Ah, got it. Okay, I'm, I'm getting better at this. You're good. I like that you can walk backwards. Well, you can too. Well, I know. I, I have it. Uh... You made a friend.
And that's not a real person. That's a... Nope. That's a, that's just an NPC. To make the world seem more uh, livelier yeah. and, and yeah, more fuller. Yeah, absolutely. Totally get And so what the direction we want to go to is we want to go up those stairs. I've been doing my cardio. You get a lot of cardio in this game. Yeah. <coughs> no, no, not that way. No, no, up, 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 girl. Girlfriend. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I would swing your. I would. So left click and kind of turn your car. Turn yourself. Turn your. There you go. So you can see where you're going. So I found somebody. So if you come over to where my character is. I'm trying. I found this little cat. Oh. See what I its like name is. Cat. Goose. I love goose. That's your companion. I have. I have way too many of them. So I have. I love goose. So I have a, like a little. Let's see. I have a. I have a dragon. Uh huh. Oh, oh, he's so cute. And then I even have. I even have. This is one of my favorite cats, because it has a witch's hat. So these people have really cool clothes. It's because they chose a different kind of a kind of uh, Pandarian. So different kind of Pandarians, absolutely. Everybody has kind of a different kind of look that they have for themselves. Um, and if she's green, she's she's a. Uh, 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 and machine then, person, and if she's yeah, she's a machine person. She's not real. Okay. Well, I like your cat. I have so many of them. So now we're at the uh, Temple of Five Dawns. Not to be, consu not to be consu uh, confused with Godfathers, but, or the Mafia, but just Dons. My time approaches. So now you get an option for a new uh, crossbow. Me, I'm going to get a new sword. Oh! So look, it's a, it's a panda guy riding a turtle. What do you, so what do you think of this so far? This is a lot of fun. I can see where where people get hooked on it. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Again, there's quite a number of times you can get lost in this game for quite a bit, and even just looking around. Okay. So I think so, this I think this is a good place to leave it off here for the game here tonight. Okay. So now is this is this where I wake up, so to speak, next time I come in? Yep. Okay. So, so um, well, well, there's a person around here that we that we could talk to called the innkeeper. Okay. And we could set our hearthstone to be at that location. Okay. Um, but we can just go to sleep here if we want to by just locking out. Okay, so how would I find an innkeeper? Um, he's somewhere in this room, most likely. I don't know where he is. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, you don't have any oh. energy left. Um, well, so I don't have energy. So. Oh, okay. Uh, so what I use is a mechanic called uh, Rage. Okay. So the more often I hit stuff, uh, the better. So... So you see this guy just right down here to the left, the scholar? Uh-huh. If you mouse over him, uh -huh. this little navigation wheel right here. Make this says, in your home. Yep. So what if do you, you have for sale? So if you make this in your home, oh, go ahead and press the X there at the top. Okay. So we're going to talk to him one more time. Huh? One more time. And then make this in your home. And click accept. So now, regardless of wherever you are in the world, when you uh -huh. use your hearthstone, which is a little gray stone that you have, you'll uh -huh. always return to here unless you choose another place. Oh, okay. And sometimes like it's advantageous to keep it as the lo wherever you're locally 
leveling at or playing at. Okay. Because it lets you kind of come back there easily. Oh. So you don't have to wait, find your way through the world. No. Okay. So All here's right. a cool thing I want to show you. Um, okay. Where the little horse's head is at there, on the, in the bottom part there. So there, yep, yes. that's collections. So go ahead and click on that. And then I want you to click on appearances here. So then go to sets. So these are different outfits that your character can eventually collect over time. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that. Yeah, so there's quite a number. These are the various different sets that were available throughout the different um, expansions of the game that you can collect for yourself to make your character stand out, look a little bit more unique. Um, take a while to get sometimes, but they're certainly a lot of fun too. Pretty cute, okay. Mm -hmm. And these are all individual pieces, so you might even collect like rabbit ears at one point for an Easter event. Um, these are all just variations of different there's hats. Voodoo mask. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's all sorts. Of, okay, cool. Yeah, so these are all okay. stuff you could get at one point and or another. This is this is this is way cool. Okay. Excellent. All right. So, what'd you think of this so far? This was a lot of fun. You can see where people would enjoy this quite a bit. Oh yeah. Excellent. I like waving at you. I do so too. if I want to wave at you, how do I? So how do I wave at you? So again, um, so there's two different options. So you see this little question, box right here. Uh huh. So you can say where it says emote, highlight over emote. Oh, Oops. Okay. Right well, here. So it says emote, and you have all these different options. Oh. You can even do a chicken dance, if, or you can even cluck like a chicken if you wanted to. <laughs> okay. And then there's also one for dancing as well. So, so emote and then emote. dance. A little bit of a that's pretty bounce cute. in her step. Okay, all right. Would you want to play this again? I would. I would. Excellent. Okay. So, so how do I save everything? Do so I have an account. The, um. So okay. yes, yeah, so we're on a temporary account that I created. It's automatically saved. So even if you lost the internet. Um, regardless of wherever you were, when you got back into the game the next time, your character would still be at that same spot. Okay, very cool. So, but we'll go ahead and I think end it here for today. We've been okay. at this for about almost two hours now, an hour oh, wow. and forty minutes. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Just having fun. We had, it's what ha time flies when you have fun. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna upload this um, probably the video in chunks, but we'll upload the uh, podcast itself, the audio portion, as a podcast. Um, obviously, if you're not paying attention, if you don't have the video, it probably won't make any sense. But we'll put the video with the um, the podcast with the video portion here as well. And we're going to have that on our website at nerdtutorialpodcast.com. We'll link to it as well on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash nerdtutorialpodcast. And again, if you have any future ideas for great topics in the future, I highly recommend uh, letting us know on my on our Twitter account here at nerd underscore tutorial. Next week. I have a kind of a cool different thing we're going to do. It was a one-time podcast, but okay. good ideas here for things we can do for you in the future. Oh, very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, All right. So on behalf of myself and my mom, we would thank you so much for watching us play World of Warcraft and learning about it here, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.